Hi, I'm Jerry and I live in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, up until 2016, I was a lifelong Republican, except for twice, I had always voted for the GOP candidate for president. Uh, the two exceptions were in 88 and in 92 when I voted third party because I thought George Bush wasn't conservative enough. Uh, that's where I'm coming from. I come from a pretty conservative background. Over the past decade, my views started to moderate a bit. And in 2016, I voted for John Kasich in the GOP primary. Uh, I never once thought about voting for Trump in 2016. The only question in my mind was if I were to vote third party instead of Hillary. By October 2016, however, I knew that I was going to vote for Hillary, uh, if for nothing else but to teach my fellow Republicans a lesson about nominating someone like Trump. I saw him as a total incompetent buffoon and that our country would be a lot better off with someone like Hillary, who was at least competent, uh, even though I wasn't too thrilled with her. Uh, when Trump won, I was still hoping that the GOP leadership in Congress would lead the way uh, and that he would maybe surround himself with uh, people who knew what they were doing and would let them uh, lead the executive branch. Uh, but when Trump very quickly started leading the GOP around by the nose and that the Republican Party had become nothing but a gang of Trump enablers, I started to think that I would never vote for, vote for another Republican again. So this year I did vote in the Democratic primary. I voted for Joe and was very happy to do so. He was my first choice. And I've always liked uh, Joe, uh, even in my Republican days. Uh, I plan on doing early voting here in Texas, and uh, I will be more than gleeful to vote for Joe and uh, vote for and vote straight Democratic. Uh, Trump is simply a clear and present danger to our country, and we cannot survive four more years of this lunacy. Uh, and by lunacy, I mean not only Trump, but his Republican enablers. They need to be defeated up and down the ballot in order to, in order to be put into the dustbin of history. Uh, 2020 is a choice between Trump and country.